Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, today's topic is about the pipeline transportation of natural gas. In the previous lecture, we talked about the transportation of oil. And now we will talk about the transportation of natural gas and the economy. The economy of natural gas pipeline, which is important. Well, first of all, when we were transporting the oil, we are using the pumps. Okay. Uh, to boost the pressures. This is the first thing. And second, our second thing that we needed is the knockout drums in order to take care of the pressure surges that are happening inside the pipeline. Plus, we uh, were talking about various uh, oil, uh, the properties that can affect the the oil tr transmission of pipeline. In the terms of the gas pipelines, we are not using the pumps, but we are using the compressors. Their job is to increase or boost the pressure of the gas pipeline then we are using a lot of pressure regulator because whenever we use the compressor the pressure inside the pipeline will not be stable it will be quite transient it will be uh, not stable unstable or you can say will be a pressure surge so for that we need to use the pressure regulators and walls okay so and how much compressors are using how much they in gas they should take and how much pressure and they should get all depends on what should be the flowing gas rate this all depends on it's a function of flowing gas rate this is the important point and at the same time the, the operation of compressors may uh, may form the pressure surges so in order to reduce the pressure surge we use the pressure regulators here as i said here are the pressure regulators okay that's the main purpose of it then now we talk about this is just the rest all the pipeline you know the criteria is remains the same but now we talk about furthermore the natural gas economy now now first of all when we talk about the business of natural gas natural gas business actually uh, you should consider starting from the gas field how many wells you have what is their composition and uh, based on the composition uh, what kind of plant you are going to install processing plant i mean uh, then the transmission how you are going to transport the gas where you are where is your customer how far is your customer so starting from the dry gas fields gas field to the processing plant to the transmission all depends on in the business the length of exposition like and what should be your production rate how much gas you can supply and so on these factors all are part of the this tra transportation of natural gas so drilling a gas well, how many producing well you have, how you are going to transmit the this gas, and how far you are you are going to send the gas. This all is the cost of uh, the gas processing or gas project, gas sailing, the sale of gas project you can say, or capacity of the construction and installation of pipes and so on. Now look at this one. In this one. Uh, this is a simple example of this petroleum uh, transportation of natural gas economy. Okay, now in this case, you can see that we have three scenarios scenario one, two, three, and we keep the flow rate of 4.5 thousand meter cube, 3000 meter cube, and 2.25 thousand meter cube. And on the other case, we select the number of wells, how many wells we are producing. In the one, we have 140, in second, we have uh, around 85, in the third, we have around uh, 75 or 7 uh, and the cost in the first case the cost is just too much second one these are the three costs that we are talking about so we when we talk about the natural gas economy we have to take care of how much production we have how many wells we are producing what is our operating cost here overall and by this one we can select the the best optimum kind of economy uh, of the natural gas now this this case can be the can be uh, stored in the subsurface reservoirs those reservoirs which are not in communication with the formation transfer traverse so this is the, the the storages of gas so when we have this these are the oil gas well this is the separation happening here from the separation separator the gas goes inside the gas processing plant and then we have the compressor from the compressor we seal this gas and we put some Ordrant and we sell we can send it to the underground storages at the same time we can liquefy this gas or we can distribute to the consumers for power plants and so on this is the overall so gas 
processing plant plays a uh, very important role as the same as the as well as the gas pipeline transmission plays an important role here uh, from the dana gas to the at the nearby dukan we have the power plant and their gas is coming through the pipeline via dana gas so what they are doing there are operators who are maintaining the pressure using compressors and the dana gas and they are sending the gas from dana gas field uh, to the power plant here in order to generate the electricity so that was just a general introduction of the natural gas and i hope to uh, uh, to see you again in the next lecture for with more information thank you very much if you have any question you can write leave comments you know you can email me thank you